Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to prove the quadratic formula. Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. And I know most likely, I know I didn't, you'll most likely not taught this in school. So I'm going to show you this today. You're going to like this. Maybe. We'll see. And I hope you like maths at the end of this. Okay, so, start off. I'm going to write down the equation of standard quadratic, which we know is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And we also know that the standard form for the quadratic equation, uh, sorry, it's quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. But the thing is, how? And that's what we're going to figure out today. So, start off, yeah, we need to know how to complete the square. Let's just give an equation for example, x squared plus x Mm, minus 2 equals 0. You can get real solutions. You can get real solutions off, but anyways. So if you want to complete the square, what we need to do is first recognize what's our b value here. And as we know, coefficient here is 1. 1x one over here. And so to complete the square, you get that coefficient and you find out what's half of that, which is, well, 1 divided by 2 is half, and then you square that. Sorry, which is then just one or four because one squared is one and two squared is four. And so you can then add this and then subtract it because you know you don't want to break maths. So then you're going to get x squared plus x, you keep that the same, plus one quarter minus one quarter minus two equals zero. And then we can use this fact here because we know this is a perfect square as what we've done over here so then we know that this is going to be x plus one half on well the power of two and if you know how to complete the square you'll know where i got this from so then that is going to be minus one quarter minus two equals zero then you can simplify this as we know two is just um eight on four so we can get x plus one half squared, and then one quarter, and then minus eight on four. So that's going to be minus nine on four equals zero. And then you could solve for x by then adding nine on four on both sides, which you don't really need to worry about right now. Then see what we can do to prove the quadratic formula based off the standard form of a quadratic, which I'm writing down again. So in this case, when you're completing the square, you want to get rid of this coefficient of the leading, uh, sorry, the leading coefficient, which is ax squared. That's so all you want to do. You want to divide both sides by a. So then you can get rid of um, that coefficient of a and make life easier, as you'll see. This and that cancel out, and then, well, that's just equal to zero, because zero divided by anything is zero. So you're going to get x squared plus b divided by a, which is just B on A, X plus C on A equals zero. Now we can complete the square. So half of BA is just B on 2A. And then, based on what we did before, you want to square this. So you get it B on 2A squared, which then B squared, well, B squared, over 2 squared, which is 4, and then a times a, which is a squared. And you can bring this fact to here. x squared plus b a, sorry, b a x plus b squared is 4 a squared minus b squared on 4 a squared again, plus c on 
a zero. And now, as we already know, what we can do with this bit, we get x plus b on 2a minus b squared on 4a squared. And you know, let's move let's move the ca um the ca on the other side. So you get it minus c a. So now I'm gonna move everything else to the other side other side so that I can isolate this um term with the x in it. So you're gonna get minus c a plus b squared on 4a squared. And then here you can multiply top and bottom by 4a so that you can combine the fractions. You're going to get minus 4ac. I don't know if you might be starting to recognize what this might look like soon. We'll see. Minus b squared on 4a squared. Sorry, that should be plus, plus. So you can combine them, so you're going to get 4a squared, you're going to get on top b squared minus 4ac, which is then equal to x plus b on 2a squared. Move down. Then, if you square root both sides, now this is where it's going to get interesting. Let me tell you guys. Oh, stupid lines. Still getting used to these pen, these pen symbols. So anyway, so then that's cancelled out. So then x plus b on two a is an equals. Don't forget, there's a plus or minus. Square root of b squared minus four a c, and then root four, which is just two, and then root a squared, which is just a, and then you can move this b on 2a to the other side and combine the fractions because 2a and 2a on both sides. Therefore, x is then going to be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac on 2a. Done. Oh. If I'm the only one who thought that was nice, you guys are crazy. <laughs> and so let's write down q well, B, which is a Latin phrase for basically saying, well, well, shorten, for saying that, yeah, you proved something. Yay, let's go. My stupid face. Okay, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please um, hit the subscribe button, like the video, help with the algorithm, and also, um, Hit the notification bell because I want these kind of videos to be shared among everyone else. I want people to be able to see these videos because I find a lot of people struggle with maths and I want to help people with maths and make it fun because it's such, it's such a useful skill. Even though people, a lot of people actually, a lot of people think that maths is so useless, but I'm telling you, it, it's really not. And if you're still not convinced, well, that's why you got to keep following this channel and I'm pretty sure you guys will see it. We're going to talk a lot about the practical applications of quadratics, especially like what we just did there. Another video. And again, this is my first video. I don't want to jump ahead of myself, but I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. And yeah, have a good day. Bye.